But the Associated Press and others uh, are reporting that radioactive winds uh, are going into Tokyo. Headline, radiation levels soar after Japan nuke plant fire. Uh, Associated Press, four of the six reactors, including one that had been successfully turned off, have blown up. And uh, Reuters, AP, are also reporting that they believe that some of the containment um, systems, basically the steel, steel box that the reactors are in, may have been breached. Let's hope that that's not the case because you think what's outside the containment vessel is bad. The water they pump through that's got all those different radioactive isotopes and radioactive iodine, um, strontium, uh, cesium. That, so far, is what's made the U.S. fleet race away from the island because it was blowing out to sea. Now the winds have changed to the south and is sending it into Tokyo. But there are no confirmed reports of uranium and plutonium. And if that gets out or has gotten out, it is a off-the-chart crisis. Obviously, you don't need to be told that to understand that. One particle of that refined plutonium and uranium, you are dead meat if it gets into your lungs. Uh, or if you, you know, get it on your hand and then wipe your mouth and it goes into your stomach, it is going to devastate those people. Now let's hope and pray that's not the case. Now I'm going to go to John, Joe, John, Mark, Rusty here in a moment. I had a Dr. Bob Bowman joining us in about 25 minutes or so. But I wanted to just briefly bring up degreed pharmacist Ben Fuchs, who's a Genesis talk show host, uh, briefly, because, uh, uh, Ben, um, I know it varies, but some of the uh, potassium iodine drops that I've bought for thyroid health say take one drop a day, some say two, some say three. I guess it depends on how strong the tincture is. Uh, you're a pharmacist, you can explain it. Uh, versus the IOSAT uh, potassium iodate tablets, 130 milligram indication, thyroid blocking, and a radiation emergency only. That is sold out all over Europe, all over Japan, all over China, confirmed. All over the world, it's selling out. Uh, and now we are getting reports flooding in that FEMA, Homeland Security, CDC is telling clinics to not give it to people if they request it as a prescription, even though it's over the counter. Uh, so a lot of things happening there. But my, my only question for you is this. Some people have gone in to health food stores or grocery stores. They've been told by the people in the vitamin aisle. Uh, and uh, people at clinics that, oh, only the pills will help you. Uh, they're 130 to 150 milligrams, depending on the brand, and we've confirmed that. And, that, and they're claiming that these uh, iodine drops are much weaker and that, uh, that, that, that the recommended dose wouldn't help you. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a pharmacist. And obviously, you can't give general medical advice. But, but, but me individually, I'm not taking the potassium iodine pills that I have they're expired, by the way, but I'm told that they last a lot longer than what the expiration says at this time. I'm taking the drops for myself, my wife, and my children uh, at the recommended dose. Is that what I should be doing? And is it true that these drops uh, uh, aren't going to help because they're too weak? Or the dulse kelp uh, alfalfa-based uh, pills, we also have those. Uh, is it true what we're hearing? No, by far and away, the best way to get your iodine is in drops. SSKI or potassium iodide drops, it's the way to go. Uh, and 130 milligrams is a great place to be, uh, depending on, and you're absolutely correct, depending on the brand, you're going to get different dosages per drop, but you want to look, uh, read the label, you want... Okay, so how much in an average bottle? In fact, we got a bunch of bottles. We have Tim bring his in so I can read off the bottle. I, I mean, on average... It depends on the, they're all going to be different. It depends on the brand, what you're looking, but it should say on there how much iodine is in, how much you're getting per drop, and you're absolutely correct. You're looking for 130 milligrams. But anybody who's telling you that the drops are in any way weaker or uh, less bioavailable or not as good as the pills doesn't know what they're talking about. The drops are the way to go. Absolutely. Now, the pills are also okay, but if you have an option, you want to go with the drops. But, Alex, what I really want people to understand is that it's not just iodine that you want to be using. You want to be making sure that your body's radiation and heavy metal detoxification systems are all kicking in. Your body has an enzyme system called the glutathione system, which is specifically designed to protect itself, to protect the body from substances like radiation and heavy metals. And you want to make sure that your glutathione system is kicking in big time, and there's nutritional supplements that will do that. That way your body sheds it instead of uh, 
itself. Oh, okay, so itself. So, and uh, so you're looking at the selenium, which is very important. Something called N-acetylcysteine is very important. There's an amino acid called glutamine, which is very important. And, and whey protein is a good source of a lot of these nutrients. Um, uh, sea vegetables are very important. Uh, bladder rack and kelp. Everybody knows about kelp, but there's all sea vegetables are very important. In fact, uh, I'd be using sea vegetables as long as you make sure that they're. You want to make sure that they're from a good source. But I'd be eating sea vegetables on a daily. Basis. It's one of the best ways to protect yourself from radiation. There's also a great seed extract, green tea. Drink a lot of green tea. Spend all day drinking green tea. If I, were, if I was going to protect myself from any of these substances, I'd be doing a lot of green tea. And by tea. the way, pharmacists... Also, don't forget about vitamin C. Very important. Absolutely, because that helps your body you know, defend itself. Uh, and I want you to explain that, and then I'm going to let you go, and we'll have you back soon to continue to break this down. For those saying, oh, trust the government, the winds are coming from Japan right across the West Coast, ladies and gentlemen. And on the, number one, at the levels that you're supposed to take it, uh, I'm correct in saying, uh, pharmacist, that it's good to have this anyways. So as a precaution, hope for the best, prepare for the worst. Some people are criticizing us, even though we're not even selling this stuff, uh, for even telling people they might want to take a precaution as if it's somehow bad. But overall, it's good to be eating seaweed. It's, it's good to be eating vitamin C. It's good to have proper iodine. Explain to people w what your th thyroid problems are off the charts these days, why that's happening, and what your thyroid absorbs if it doesn't have the iodine it needs. Well, your point is very well taken, Alex. It's, you don't want to wait for a disaster. You want to make sure your body is loaded up. It's saturated with these substances. So when something like this does happen, you're protected. As far as the thyroid goes, I'll tell you that one of the biggest problems associated with the thyroid that nobody talks about is the digestive system because thyroid hormone is activated in the digestive system. So one of the most important things you could do if you want to protect yourself from, from these radio, radioactive substances, heavy metals, if you want to make sure your thyroid is working correctly, is correct all digestive digestive symptoms. Any digestive symptomology needs to be correct because no matter what you're taking, if you got digestive problems, you got a hole in your boat and you're going to be losing water as fast as you're, as you're bailing it out. All right. We've got to jump and I appreciate you joining us on short Thank notice, you. but I have a brand here. One last question. I have a brand here. Uh, this is from uh, New Flower. Uh, it's iodine with kelp, dietary supplement, two fluid ounces, 60 mil, suggested use, take one drop, once a day in a little water or is directed by your health care professional. Uh, and uh, it doesn't even really say anything else on the back. It, it says iodine, 150 mcg, 100% per drop, 2 mg from kelp. Uh, so looking at this brand, you're saying one drop a day of this would, uh, would uh, fill the thyroid and, uh, and, and, and be what I need? That's right. One drop a day. It's a hundred. It's a little over. That's one hundred fifty mics. You're looking for at least one hundred thirty mics. Well, if I weigh two hundred and thirty pounds, I mean, does a man who's bigger take more than a woman who weighs a hundred? Slight difference, but not really significant. Because we're talking about a gland. You're talking exactly. You're talking about a gland. Okay, pharmacist Ben Fuchs. Thank you so much for clearing that up thank for you, us. Alex. Appreciate it. Yeah, you want to go to a pharmacist even above a doctor because they're the ones that really deal with this every day. Thank you so much. Okay, John in New York. Uh, John, you're on the air. Welcome. Just Alex, I just want to let you know I've been going around Rochester, New York, trying to get uh, some potassium uh, iodine or iostat, and uh, every place I've been to so far, except for one, is completely out. Their suppliers are completely out. They said they were out from day one. Well, that's the issue. You know, 4 or 5% of the population is educated. They're going to buy it all up. It's the same thing with gold and silver. Once the general public figures out the dollar has been trashed, imagine when all the yuppies try to go out and buy gold and silver, what's going to happen. It's the same thing uh, with this. Anything else you want to add, uh, John? Yes, I also have a tip. Um, I happen to live near Gene Power Plant on Lake Ontario, and because I live so close, they have um, loaded up the, over the years, loaded up uh, the pharmacies in my area with the IOSTAT. So a tip would be to have people that live in um, areas around uh, nuclear power plants to go to their pharmacies, and they will be able to get the uh, IOSTAT kit. Um, they have a much greater chance there. All right, thank you so much. That's right, and uh, that's one reason the federal government is saying that they don't need any more iodine. Only people around power plants need it. But what if you're downwind from one? What if we're downwind from Japan? I mean, it makes...
no sense. The government wants to limit it so they can sit there and hand it out and play God. Joe in Texas, you're on the air. Welcome. Hey, Jittos, Alex. Hey, buddy. Uh, Alex, uh, now that the winds are going south like they are from Japan, I'm just wondering what that's going to do with all the problems that Australia's had with the floods and the fires. Oh, yeah, this stuff's going all over the world. I mean, there's no doubt that whatever's coming out of those plants, they've been covering it up, and they're now having to admit. I mean, again, here's the AP uh, headline, uh, you know, dealing with uh, radiation levels uh, rising, and uh, it, it looks like they're, they're starting to ratchet down um, from their cover-up. Yeah, and the other thing I wanted to mention, Alex, was the uh, the iodine solution you put on your skin. Uh, I don't know, you might know more about it than me, that it does help to some degree, but when I went down, or rather my girlfriend went down to buy some of this stuff like a month ago, that 16-ounce uh, 16, 16 ball of that stuff was $3. It's now it's now $12, and you know, they, they don't have many on the shelf now. And you can get the first aid kind that has the same iodine solution in it. But it seems like they're, want, they're, they're out there making money off this stuff. They certainly are, sir. All right, I appreciate you joining us. Um, we're going to come back and talk to John, Mark, Rusting, and others. Then Dr. Bob Bowman's joining us and more of your calls. AP headline, radiation level soars after Japan nuke plant fire.